Uganda makes her sort of an underdog in Africa because it's in one of the poorer countries in Africa. The fact that she's in Katwe makes her an underdog in Uganda because uh, Katwe is, is the most uh, impoverished slum in the entire country. It's amazing, guys. To be a girl in Katwe, um, girls... Anybody can overcome. ...as equals uh, to the boys. So basically, every hurdle that uh, the world can place in front of her uh, it is Only 14 so you're not, I know you lost in the slums of Uganda, you were very young, master at chess. Family. How do they feel about uh, what's happening with you at chess? They cried. Some of them cried because, yes, but we didn't have four and we didn't have something. Shout like out to Fiona that, Mutesi. That it, one day it awesome. happened, so they are very excited. Robert, does Fiona's story show that chess can help lift kids out of slums all over the world? Absolutely, because it teaches you on how to assess, on how to make decisions, or obstructive thinking, focus, endurance, uh, problem solving, and looking at the challenges as, as an opportunity in, in all cases, and possibly not giving up the discipline, the patience, everything, talk about anything to do with life. You can get it in that game. <laughs> Best story of the day, man. Best story of the day. News been bad all day. How's it like to uh, be in America, to be in New York? How's the trip? I don't like New York because it's so, there's so much noise. <laughs> <laughs> She is so lovable. Oh, man. I wanted you all to know, two, yeah, I know, it gets noisy for those of us that were there all the time. Two more things that you all should know about her. One is that we're saying she's, she's 16 years old. She doesn't definitively know her own birthday. This is the poverty in Uganda. The people with her believe she's 16. She might still be 15, depending on what her birthday is. The other thing I find so interesting, I, I gave her the name Idi Amin. It means nothing to her. She's never heard of the so-called butcher of Uganda who ran that country through the 70s. And uh, that is the extent of the poverty we're talking about. Kids in this country cannot go to school in many cases. They spend their days searching for food. They don't know basics of their own country. Allison, she does, however, know the name Joseph Coney. This Ugandan warlord we've talked about during the year, the subject of a viral video. It shows the kind.